Good morning, I'm Courtney Johns. Today is Friday, December 7th. While a first grade teacher accused of sexually assaulting one of his students is behind bars, parents showed up at Fontenelle Elementary last night asking for answers, especially since prosecutors say he may have more victims. 3 News Now reporter Maya Sines shows us what the district and school leaders covered at the meeting. And parents were invited by administrators to attend a meeting here tonight at Fontenelle Elementary School to give parents an opportunity to discuss sexual allegations against Greg Sedlicek. Now, OPS did not allow media inside of the meeting, which lasted about 45 minutes. Based on the full parking lot and the number of parents we saw go in and now dozens attended the meeting. We tried speaking to many of them as they came out of the meeting, but several said the school district told them not to speak to the media. OPS did give us some informational sheets, which were handed handed out to parents. They talked about body ownership and sexual abuse prevention tips for parents to share with their children. OPS Superintendent Dr. Cheryl Logan joined staff and other district leaders here at the meeting. And OPS is encouraging parents to report any type of concern they may have to law enforcement. They also emphasize that for any student or parent who may be in the country illegally, their immigration status will not be checked by police for filing a report. Reporting from Fontenelle Elementary School, Maya Sines, 3 News Now.